हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर फोर एडेप्टेशन इन एनिमल्स एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव रेड अप टू आर्बोरियल एनिमल्स मींस द एडेप्टेशन ऑफ एनिमल्स इन डिफरेंट एनवायरनमेंट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एडेप्टेशन फॉर फूड सो बेस्ड ऑन द टाइप ऑफ फूड दैट दे ईट एनिमल्स आर ग्रुप्ड इन द फॉलोइंग कैटेगरीज दे आर herbivores carnivores and omnivores not only this even scavengers and parasites are also there so let's start from herbivores so i think you all know which animals are called herbivores so the animals that only eat plants are called herbivores example cow goat giraffe etc so for that they have strong and broad teeth where in front to bite the leaves and grasses and strong chewing teeth with space in between them at the back for what for grinding the food so with strong and broad teeth they bite the leaves so those teeth are present in front and at the back they have strong chewing teeth with space in between for grinding the food they even travel long distance with the help of their long and strong legs because they have to search food now the next one is carnivores so the animals that eat the flesh of other animals are called carnivores examples lion dog tiger etc so these animals have pointed sharp long and curved canines to tear the flesh of the prey so these animals attack on their prey and they just tear them to eat them they chew the flesh and bones with the help of broad and flat grinding teeth that is also present at the back of their mouth if we talk about birds then examples are eagle and vulture they are carnivores so they have sharp beaks and claws to catch other animals and to tear their flesh next is omnivores do you know we are omnivores so omnivores are the animals that eat both plant as well as animals examples we human being even bear crows cockroaches etc not only this even scavengers are also there so what are scavengers let's read animals that feed on the remains of the dead animals are called scavengers suppose when the animal die and remain in one place for a long time then the scavengers for example jackal hyena wild dog vulture they eat upon them so these animals mainly eat the dead animals or the remain of the dead animals next is parasites so organism that live on or inside the body of other living organism and depend on them for food are called parasite so these animals can live inside the body as well as outside the body of an organism and they take nutrition from the body of that organism so the animals on which the parasite depends for nutrition are called host so which organisms live inside the body of the host they are 
tape worm round worm and hook worm so they mainly found inside the body of the host let me give you one familiar example about lice so you all know what is lice so lice are found in head means between the hairs so they remain there and suck blood so when person do not clean head properly the lice lay eggs and as a result of which its numbers increases and they suck blood from our head so this is very harmful for the health as well so there are certain parasites that live on the surface of the host body are lice tick flea so they do what they have suckers or mouth for sucking or we can say sucking tubes with the help of which they suck blood from their host so now students will try to solve this fill in the blanks let's move to the next topic that is adaptation for protection so to protect themselves from dangers some animals show different types of adaptations for example rabbit deer mice fishes can move very fast to protect themselves from enemies moreover insects like cockroaches have a hard outer body covering for protection so this hard covering protect them from dangers the next is about elephant and hippopotamus so elephant and hippopotamus have very thick skin that help in protecting them from hot climate you may know that crab and turtles have hard shell on their upper part of the body so these shells protect them from dangers next there are some animals like chameleon garden lizard even some fishes are also there that can hide themselves from predators how by changing their body color to match their surrounding interesting right means suppose this chameleon a garden lizard is hiding themselves within the leaves then they may turn their body color into green this animals camouflage means hide themselves from the predators and this is called camouflaging now our last and the most important topic is protecting animals as we know people make use of different animals for different purposes they even hurt animals they extract many things from them they make many different things or products from their body parts so we should try to protect the animals as animals also have feeling like us they also feel pain so we should try to save them they also have the right to live on this earth so like human being animals also need care food and shelter as many animals are in threat due to destruction of forest by human for their needs the number of some animals such as tiger cheetah giant pandas and indian rhinoceros are fast declining and the day will come when we would not able to see them anymore they would disappear from this earth hunting of animals is also reducing the number of animals worldwide another major problem is pollution this pollution harms animals as because chemicals waste from factories are pumped into the river lakes and oceans as a result of which the aquatic animals such as fishes or other some animals that live inside the water get poisoned by this and die so this is our duty to reduce these activities and to protect the animals from dying